But the biggest issue that the Toyota Tacoma has is there's a big hood in front of it. So when you're trying to see the obstacles in front of you or you're going over a hill or you're going to be dropping off into a valley, you can't see anything. You don't know where your front end is and you got to get out over and over and over or have a spotter to see what's going on. And it's a real slow process. It kind of takes a lot of fun out of it. And the issue is to get a truck with the camera, you end up paying, instead of paying like $40,000 for the TRD off-road version, you're going to pay fifty dollars to $55,000 for the one that's fancier, that has the camera, and a lot of that stuff you don't need. So we're here to talk about, you know, the people who are buying the $40,000 truck or the $30,000 SR5s. Uh, these are the ones that don't have the camera options. And you still have a rear camera on all, all these trucks. It's just you can't see anything in the front. So we're going to talk about how to fix that right now. Now, a lot of people ask me, what's this red tape I got on the bumper? And there's actually a good reason for this red tape. What it is, is I have a GoPro mount mounted right here, just the mount. And if you triangulate where the GoPro is to the red tape to where my tire would go, that red tape is exactly where my tire is. So when I look on the camera, I see that red zone. And if I see a rock, it looks like it's right in front of it. That means my tire is going to hit that rock, which is a good thing because you always want your tires on top of the rocks. The general general rule, you want your tires on the rocks. So that's why I got the red tape here so I can see exactly where my front tires are going to be at related to where the, uh, the rocks are going to be. So right now we're going to show you how to set this up. And the cost of this project is probably about 15 bucks for the cable. It cost me 70 or 80 bucks for the camera. And the camera came with all the mounting brackets, so it was all included. So there's different ways to set this up. There is the Acaso EK7000 Pro. It's a lower quality. Um, it's pretty good still, but if you just want a nice camera to see what's in front of your truck, this is a good option. There is also the Ecaso v50x that is a great great gopro camera gopro style camera um this one is cheaper uh, you can usually find this thing for about 50 maybe 60 dollars and the other one the e acaso v50x you can find that one for about 80 dollars when it's on sale usually it's on sale so uh wait it out and find one 80 bucks for the other one the other one like i said is a much better uh, quality of a camera. But we're gonna show you the example of this. The examples are pretty much the same on both. So both of these types of cameras come with all types of hardware. It has this one, it has a whole bunch of different brackets. And this one, you just slide it in there. And it has a little bracket for the mounting right here. I ended up drilling a hole, even though it's the waterproof case, I drilled a hole in the side so I can run a power cable to it. And the reason for that is I'm off-roading the entire day out there and I don't want this camera dying on me. You know, it's gonna last maybe hour, maybe an hour and a half probably. I'm not sure how long, but I want it to last the whole day where I can just turn it on and do things when I want it. And I can even record footage. So that's really nice while you're out there. You can see where your truck's going, but also, uh, hit record and record the fun. So I'm going to show you how to set this up real quick. So first power it on. That's the power button here. And then the bottom button hold down to turn on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is on. It'll give you a Wi-Fi password and the connection ID. And this is where you will go to your tablet or your phone or any any kind of device, Apple, Android and you will download on the EK7000 version of the camera. 
It's the iSmart DV. And if you had the V50X Acaso, it's the Acaso Go app. So we're doing the EK7000 Pro. We're gonna do this one. Before I do any of this, I need to tie my Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna hit settings, I'm gonna go to Wi-Fi, and I've already set this up once before, but you can see the Wi-Fi showed up, and that's where you select it, you enter the password. The default password of these things are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and then you click it and you'll sync up to it. So I'm already synced, so I'm gonna go straight here, and this is where you would add a camera, and you say connect, and now I am connected to the camera. I forgot to add, there's one more cost. I think this thing cost me about 15, maybe 14 bucks. It's just a nice tablet holder for the, for the dashboard. And you put your tablet in there. That way you can have a nice view from the dash. And you can see the camera is now wirelessly connected. So the 15 foot cable is so you can keep this thing charged. We're not gonna hook that up right now, but you can see all I do, would do is plug that in right there. And what I do is I, after I plug it in on the hood, I run this cable on the hood line to the fender and then through the door cap. That way I just keep the extra cable inside the truck. So I'm gonna hook this up on the hood right now and you can see what I'm talking about with the red stickers that they're gonna line up with a rock. So here you can see the red stickers on my bumper and I'm right now going to move that piece of wood so it's right in front of my tire and when it's in front of the tire this sticker should line up from it. So the camera's in the middle of my hood as you can see there and it's aiming down at the sticker and I'm going to move that piece of wood right where my tire is. All right. So that piece of wood is right where my tire is. And as you can see, the sticker is lining up with it. Now, the sticker is a little bit this way. And that's because a rock isn't going to be two inches tall. A rock is going to be a lot taller. And when you get a taller one out there, it'll line up better with where that sticker is. So that's why I got the sticker right there. So if I drive forward now, it'll run over that stick and the sticker will line up. And I'm on the stick. And there you go. Now you can see, you can see everything. You can say, oh, I want to go around the rock. I'm going to go around it. I want to line my other tire up with that. So nice front camera for your truck. And the cool thing is, it's not only for whenever you're going to be off-roading and you're seeing those, you know, where the rocks are and everything, but it's also It also makes a nice camera so that you can videotape these things when you're off-roading. So if you're off-road, you can hit record right there. And now you have a nice video of everything you're doing. You're going out there and you're saying, oh, I'm approaching that. Oh, I'm getting close, I'm getting close, I'm getting close, I'm getting closer. Oh, it looks like I'm about to hit it. Now, if you look over the hood, there is no way I would have done this without getting out and taking a look. But because I got the camera up there, I can actually see, you know, everything coming up to it. Good, good tool. And like I said, camera, that version is 60 bucks. The tablet holder is 15 bucks. And you can even buy this little thing if you want to use your phone, a little clip for your phone. Cable is 15 bucks and it's just a micro USB cable charger. And that's it. So you're under 
right around 100 bucks for a front camera. And this doesn't apply just to Tacoma. You can do this on your Jeep. You can do this on any vehicle you want. And I can even mount that on the roof here. I can, it comes with two different mounts. So I can put one sticker there, one on the roof. And then I can just move the camera up if I want to. There's many other mounts to it. And like I said, any vehicle, Jeep, uh, Forerunner, Bronco, any vehicle out there, you can do this in 100 bucks. Great, great camera. And look at that. The things I couldn't see before. I'll aim it down again so you can see the down angle. it's down again I'm gonna go as close as I can to the trailer without ruining my grill and you can see if you're looking over the hood I would be stopping right here because I would be like nope I'm not gonna destroy my truck but because I can see perfectly I am not scared man I am really scared but... oh oh look at that one inch away you can't do that without a camera and that's it all right if you like what we're doing please subscribe and we will see you next episode